let's take our first question, which is from Louise, Louise Edwards. Now that the Rwanda plan to curb illegal migration has been delayed yet again, does the government have a plan B if it doesn't eventually pass? Right, so the ping-pong between mm. the House of Commons and the House of Lords continues. The House of Lords uh, rejected a number of... Uh, elements of the bill last night. I, I largely agree with the criticisms that, that Sarah's made there, I have to say. I, I think Rwanda was always a bit of a gimmick, was always problematic and difficult to put into effect. I think the major problem is that we're shipping these people out to a place which is not under British jurisdiction, and that it would be far better if we were able to find a place which was under British jurisdiction. Um, so I think that's an enormous problem, and a, and a bigger problem as well, uh, which is, uh, yes, uh, it's been 100,000 people arriving here uh, and there's been an awful loss of, loss of life and we need to stop that. And I do object to some of the charities who have been in many ways enabling some of those people to cross the channels because I do think that they are complicit in the loss of life which we've seen. How, uh, how, how are they complicit? Well, well, because if you are continually trying to aid people to cross the channel, more people will die as a consequence. But which charities that is, are trying to that, help people cross the channel? I mean, there, well, there are charities definitely that are providing food and, and shelter for people mm. who are uh, well, if in Calais. But... If you're providing sustenance and encouragement to people who are about to cross the channel, then you are complicit in, in getting them across the channel, effectively. You are, you are putting yourself in a position of being an accomplice to those appalling criminal gangs. And I agree entirely with Sarah that we need to, we need to sort those criminal gangs out. I have to say, I mean, on the other issue, which is the appalling though these channel crossings are, uh, the Conservative Party has lost control of immigration completely. I mean, the, the, the legal immigration which we have to this country is at an entirely unsustain, unsustainable 650,000 in the last year. That, that is just not remotely sustainable in, in any sane world. Okay. And the, the final thing, just okay, to go back briefly, to Sarah, very to come briefly, to the audience. I've listened to Yvette Cooper talk about this. I really don't see what you're going to do about it, because nothing that Yvette says seems to seems to me to make any sort of impact upon what we could do with these refugees. It just seems to be uh, 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 talking for the sake of it and oppositionism for the sake of it, much though I agreed with your criticism of, of what the I government's done.